We were working on um, ordering numbers to 100. If we look at the 100 chart, we'll see that they, there's patterns. We've been building on number sense since the beginning of the school year, just talking about the patterns in the 100 chart. So in order for them to understand the concepts, we talked about previous things we've done, like patterning. And we did the patterning by having the students come up and create patterns. Rahi, Hector, Alia, and Martin, stand up. We walk in a pattern. Triangle, square, triangle, square. And then we stop and change the pattern. Somebody else continues with a different pattern. The project with the paper plates was um, each table group had different numbers that they would see on the 100 chart. So I selected different numbers for each table group so they could each help each other place themselves in sequential order. Once I hand you your paper plate, you have to work with your friends at your table, placing yourselves in order. <coughs> So we started off with one table group at a time, and they um, placed themselves in the sequential order. Second group had a different set of numbers, so they had to find the numbers in order again. Once each table group got an opportunity to come up and place themselves in sequential order, then we worked on all the numbers that the students were holding up, and we did that in a sequential order, still working from least to greatest. So to make sure that the students understood the concept of greater than and less than, I had different students come up and just place themselves in a number sentence using greater than and less than. So, what's your number? 21, 21 is less than, what's your number? 57. Students seem to be able to do that fairly well, and if not, they got help from their classmates.